Now that we have all of the terms of our argument identified, we can move on to step three. Step three is write the argument using standard form categorical statements. Symbolized is fine. Okay, so step number three, write this down. Write the argument using standard form categorical statements. Symbolized is fine. What I mean by symbolized is fine is this. We could write out the argument using the full wording of each of our three terms. That's perfectly fine. We can write out standard form categorical statements using all the words of our terms. Or we can use standard form categorical statements and use the letters we've assigned to our terms to represent our subject and predicate terms of each of those statements. I'm going to suggest for efficiency sake, and because I'm lazy, that we just symbolize the argument using the letters that we've assigned to our terms. So when we look at the first premise, diseases carried by recessive genes can be inherited by offspring of two carriers. We see that it's our D term and our I term that are going to be um, relevant here to this term. So now the question for us is this. Is this premise statement saying that every disease carried by recessive genes, in other words, all D, are uh, diseases that can uh, be inherited by offspring of two carriers? Or is it just saying that that's the case for some diseases carried by recessive genes? Okay. I didn't know the answer to that question, so I had to pause my work and go look it up, and it turns out that this is the case for all diseases carried by recessive genes. All of diseases carried by recessive genes are diseases that can be inherited by offspring of two carriers. So my first premise now becomes all D or I, and if I want to know what D and I stand for, I just look down here at the bottom of my page. Now I can move on to my second premise. Cystic fibrosis is a disease carried by recessive genes. So now I see that this statement is going to involve my term C, diseases identical to cystic fibrosis, and my term D, diseases carried by recessive genes. And that's going to get me the statement all C or D. All diseases identical to cystic fibrosis are diseases carried by recessive genes. And finally, my conclusion, it can be inherited by offspring of two carriers. What's the it? It's cystic fibrosis. It's diseases identical to cystic fibrosis. All of them are diseases that are can be inherited or are inherited can be inherited by offspring of two carriers so now my conclusion statement becomes all c r i and now what i've done is i've completed step three and i have uh, written my argument using standard form categorical statements i have three terms that appear exactly two times each in the exact same way and now i can move on to step four